Hi guys, it's your girl AP and welcome back to my channel. I know it's been a long, long time since you guys got a video tutorial from me, but all of that's about to change. And I just want to say thank you. Thank you from the bottom of my heart to my 1000 subscribers. Um, it's been a tough time for me. I will be vlogging about why I haven't been so active in my, in, to, in my YouTube channel. But before I even get into that vlog, I was like, you know what? My followers are so good to me that I, I need to put something out there for them. I need to give them a tutorial. So today, we're going to learn how to etch, okay? Glass etching. And we're going to learn how to make our very own stencils for glass etching. So stay tuned. All right, guys. Like I said, we're going to be doing glass etching. I'm really excited about this. And I'm going to be teaching you not only how to glass etch, but how you can create your very own stencil for glass etching, okay? So let's just get right into it. Um, let's just jump into supplies. So, of course, you know you're going to need your cutting machine. I'll be using a Cricut Explore Air today um, to cut on our, um, cut our stencil out. You're going to need some kind of glass to etch on. I'm going to be using um, this mace, not mason jar, Lord. This cute glass, like a beer mug that I found at Dollar Tree. Really good etching. It etched really good. I did another one, and I don't have it next to me to show you guys. But by the end of this video, you'll see how easy glass etching is, okay? You're going to need some type of vinyl and your cutting mat. So I'm using white vinyl um, to create our stencil on. And you're also going to need transfer tape, okay? So transfer tape, white vinyl, and I'm using the green cutting mat, okay? And then you're going to need, of course, etching cream, okay? This is Arma Etch. I bought it off of Amazon. Um, and yeah, etching cream is not cheap, guys, okay? I'm just letting you know it's not a cheap little thing. I think I spent about over $20 for this jar, okay? But it, it goes a long way, so I will say that. Over $20 for this, you can find it on Amazon. I don't think you can find it in Michaels. I tried looking at Michaels, and most stores don't sell it online. I mean, most stores don't sell it in store, they sell it online, but you'll be better off ordering off Amazon, because you know, if you got prom, you get that thing quick, okay? You also gonna need um, a paintbrush, something kind of thick, and scissors of course okay let's get etching all right so like i said you're gonna need your laptop and i want you to go ahead and open up cricut design space okay cricut design space is a um a design platform associated with the cricut cutting machine um, i'm sure a lot of you crafters already know about the cricut design space but i'm going to show you how you can create the stencil for the glass etching, okay? So we're just gonna click upload. I already have the image that I want to use. So I'm gonna find it. I have so many images, guys. Don't don't even worry. Look at all these images I have. It's just too much in here. Okay, I just do so much crafting. Um, and I know exactly which one I want to use. I want to use this one made with melanin, always popping, okay? My husband's gonna make fun of me because I always I love the word melanin and I love the word popping. I mean, they just go together so well, okay? So let's just use this one, okay? And we're going to go ahead and insert it in our design space. I'm going to go ahead and make it bigger so it can be um, better for you guys on your eyes. Excuse me, a little um, congested. Um, so we're going to use the Made with Melanin, always popping SVG. I purchased this SVG off of Etsy. I'm not sure what the shop name is. Um, if, if you guys are really interested in this SVG, um, I'll go back maybe if someone comments about it and I'll give you the name of the shop where I purchased this SVG at, okay? So now that we have the SVG that we want to use and I made it bigger, go ahead and click shapes, okay? All right, and click a square. And I'm going to tell you why we need this square. This square is almost like our backdrop for our etching, okay? It's, it's going to give us... Um, how can I say it'll give us a range of workspace, like how much space we can use because with the etching cream, you want to make sure you're only etching the area where you need. You don't want to get any extra etching outside of your vinyl, okay? And I'll show you that later when we get into the glass etching. So go ahead and just make your square big enough to put the image inside, okay? So go ahead to a top to a range and you want to send it to the front, okay? I just want to make sure you guys can see it really good, okay? Go ahead and send it to the front, okay? So you want to make sure you have about about enough space. So when you're etching, if you if you happen to go um, off of it, it's okay because you're still on the vinyl, if that makes sense. And it's going to make even more sense 
in a minute. I'm just going to go ahead and uh, um, highlight both images and I'm going to align it center so that it's nice and straight. Okay, guys, we got that, right? So now this is way too big um, for our mug. I think I'm going to do three by three, but I don't know. Let's just, oh, one thing I want to do, I want to weld it. Highlight both and I want to, no, I'm lying. We don't want to slide. We don't want to weld. I'm sorry. We just want to highlight it. Highlight both. And then down here, it says slice, weld, attach, and flatten, okay? We want to slice, okay? Because we only want the negative space, guys. When you're etching, you don't want the letters. You want the, the negative space. So as you can see, it's three layers here, okay? We don't want this one. We want to take that away, and we want to take this away. And we want to be left with this because anything that's white... Okay, you see the white, that's going to be etched on the glass. The gray isn't going to be etched, only the white, the negative space. And there you have it. You already created your stencil. Now go ahead and size it down to your liking. I'm going to take it down to about, about four inches. You can, you can manually put it in, but I'm just going to use my... Yeah, we're going to leave it at, maybe even make it a little bigger, about 4.3, okay? Yeah. About 4.3 is good. Okay. So that is how you create your stencil. Very simple. Very um, quick. And I'm going to do one more um, just so you guys can follow with me if I went too quick on this one. Okay. So let's just do one. I'm going to use, let's see. Let's do one more. What about, hmm. Let's do love pink. Just to show you how to create your stencil, okay? Now, look how giant this came up. We don't need it that big, so go up to the width. And size it down to about four inches, and then you can see it'll be much more easier to work with, okay? Like we did with our Made With Melanin um, image, we want to go to Shapes, click the square. Once we have our square, what you want to do, you just want to um, unlock it so you can play with it. Stretch it out. Make sure you um, arrange center front. Bam. Right? Who remembers what we do, do next? If you said slice, you're wrong because remember, we have to center it. We have to align it. We don't want it to be crooked. We center it, okay? Now we can slice. And then once we do that, we take away the negative and there's your stencil again, okay? Very easy on how to create a stencil, but today we're only going to be working with the Made With Melanin, okay? All right. So now that we have our image, let's go ahead and cut. And I'm not going to show how it cuts because I'm sure a lot of my videos I go over cutting. So just go back and reference those and I'll show you the finished results of how it came out. Be right back. All right, guys, we're back. And for time purposes, I didn't weed on camera because... This image is kind of small and the weeding gave me a headache. Um, so if you're gonna etch, try not to etch with, don't be like me. I don't know, cause I love this image so much. I just wanted to see it on the glass. Um, but here's our stencil. As you can see, I only um, use it in a negative space. Now it would be exact opposite if we were using laying vinyl on a glass. You would need the letter, the white letters. But in, that, in this case, we don't, we just need the actual stencil. So I already cut and weeded, which it wasn't the easiest because it is really small and these letters are tricky, but hey, still the same idea, okay? Same idea. All right, so next let's get etching. So you wanna go ahead and get a piece of transfer tape, okay? So this is some scrap transfer tape that I had laying around um, and you're gonna go ahead and cut enough transfer tape to cover your image okay that's enough transfer tape to just cover the image and then we're going to lay it on the glass okay so go ahead and like i like to lay my transfer tape i like to bend it in the middle just because it just lays better to me when you bend it in the middle so i'm just gonna bend it and kind of smooth it out and then that's how you get it super flat with no air bubbles okay so just always bend your transfer tape, okay? Here's my glass. I like to lay my glass flat, 
okay? So I hope you guys can see this. Maybe I'll adjust the camera a little more to be lower. Okay. All right. So now you just want to go ahead and make sure your image is nice and stuck onto your transfer um, tape. Okay. And you, you'll know when it's ready. Okay. Just make sure all... Oop. Look, top and popped off. <laughs> Make sure it's all um, stuck to that transfer tape. Good. This isn't um, Cricut transfer tape. My favorite is Cricut. I love Cricut transfer tape. This is some Amazon um, transfer tape that I'm not crazy about at all. It just doesn't do good with the vinyl. For some reason, it's not sticking. Well, Part of it's not sticking. I don't know what's going on. Why isn't it sticking? Might have to help it out a bit. Mm. This is the worst. Ugh. And my video too. This will happen while I'm recording the video. Okay. I don't know what's going on. But we about to just help her. Try to get it up. Come on. And I don't want it to be messed up. Because this is the act like it really don't want to come off. What is going on? Yep. All right, guys. I'm not sure why um, the vinyl isn't sticking. Let's try it again. Come on, they got to stick. This is so ridiculous that this is happening on my video. But guess what? I I'm um, I don't give up. So we're going to get this up. Okay? We're going to get this vinyl up onto this whack transfer tape that I don't buy. If you're going to get some transfer tape, go ahead and get Cricut um, transfer tape. Okay? I'm going to get this vinyl up and I'll be right back for you guys. Voila! I told you I was going to get it up. Okay? I am... I don't give up too easy, okay? Especially with this crafting game. All right. So now that we finally got our vinyl stuck to our transfer, whack transfer tape, oh, hopefully it sticks to the glass. Okay? So let's see. Um, I'm eyeing it right now. Don't be like me. If you can strategically see where you want to put it, um, I would say do it that way. So what I do is I always bend. Like I told you, I bend and then... I kind of eye it for most of my um, projects, but don't be like me. <laughs> but that's your business. Ain't that what Tabitha said? But that's your business. So this is definitely crooked, but it's okay. All right? So make sure it's nice and stuck onto the glass, okay? And now what you want to do, you want to peel it back and hopefully, ooh, it's sticking, okay? Now, I do see a little bubbles, but it's okay because we don't want the etching cream to get under the bubbles. So now, now that we have our um, our stencil laid, our stencil, our vinyl stencil laid onto our glass, go ahead. Now, they do say wear gloves when using the etching cream, so y'all go ahead and get your gloves. I don't have no gloves handy. I mean, I do have gloves, but it's not here right next to me, so... I'm going to just um, go ahead and just be extra careful, okay? And I'm going to go ahead and lay our lay it flat. Now, with, with etching, you have to use a lot, okay? You have to lay on it thick. So you want to go ahead and start covering everywhere that... And if you go outside on a square, guess what? That's okay because that's what the square is for, right? The square gives us enough room to go to go out the lines, all right? To make sure we're covering it good. And you want to lay the etching cream on thick, honey. Lay it on thick. Because I think, personally, the, the thicker, the better the etch comes out. So lay it on thick. And this is just for video purposes. I'm sure it's not going to be perfect, but... I'm giving y'all the tools y'all need um, to learn how to just simply etch um, glass. And this is great for, um, you know, especially men gifts. You know, men love beer mugs, um, shot glasses, all decanter sets. 
I can't wait to do my decanter set. Um, it didn't come in the mail yet, but I can't wait to do that. Okay, with monograms, this is going to be pretty. Okay, laid on thick. Now, the bottle says, um, the bottle does say to um, leave it on only 60 seconds, but I leave mine on for 10 minutes, y'all. Okay, y'all could be like me, or y'all could um, do what the bottle say. That's your business, okay? <laughs> but um, just make sure you're laying the etching cream on thick, okay? And you, what I like to do, I don't like to see nothing like you like that. That's how you want it to look. You want to make sure it's on nice and thick. And I don't like to see nothing. I want it to be covered up all the way. Okay. If I start to see something, guess what? I'm going to take some more etching cream and I'm just going to go ahead and do it like that. Okay. Now we're going to let this sit for 10 minutes and the direction do say to rinse it off with warm water. Okay. Warm water, people. So I'm going to let this sit for 10 minutes. I'm going to rinse it off with warm water. And then I'm going to show you the process of removing the vinyl. And I forgot to mention that we are using 651 vinyl, which is a permanent vinyl. But y'all know with 651, we could easily get that up with a little water. So don't worry about that. But if you do have 631, which is a non-permanent vinyl, then use that one, okay? So we're just going to let this sit for 10 minutes, rinse with hot water, and then I'll show you our finishing touches. Stay tuned with your girl AP because we're not done. All right, guys, we're back. I went ahead and I rinsed off um, the etching cream. Okay, so it's, it's a little damp. That's why I got the paper, the cloth. Um, let me just adjust the camera. So I'm going to use my weeding tool. Be careful not to scratch it. Scratch your glass, okay? I'm going to use my weeding tool to kind of help me lift the vinyl to see how our etching did. Ooh, I can already see um, the circle took very well. All right, so now I have to weed. And this is, be careful, because like I said, you don't want to scratch up your glass. Okay? You can kind of already see the etch. Nice, 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 nice. Nice, okay. Let me finish taking off the vinyl so we can get the the full effect of the etch. Mm. Okay, I know this vinyl could be so sticky. So <clears throat> just take your time. Take your time and take off the vinyl. And then I'm gonna um put it close so you guys can see. You see the etch? Nice, okay? All right, so it did come out, but I'm not finished removing this vinyl. <clears throat> and um, what you normally do, what I normally do is when I finish with my etching, my glasses that I etch, I go ahead and get some rubbing alcohol um, and I just wipe it. Now, disclaimer that once you do, once you rub the glass with the rubbing alcohol, your etch is gonna look like it disappeared. But honey, as soon as it dry, air dry, uh, two seconds later, um, your etch is fine. It's not gone. So don't think, oh, the alcohol took my etch away. No, it didn't take your etch away. Okay. It did not take your etch away. It just, I don't know what it does, but it just cleans it and then your etch pops up. This etch is not going nowhere. This etch ain't going nowhere. Okay. So I'm just going to finish re weeding it and show you guys the finished results of our etch. Okay. How cute. Okay, very simple, nice gift. Takes a little practice, <clears throat> but just want you guys to see the finish of our etch, okay? I hope you found this video helpful and fun. Um, if you do etch, leave me some comments. Don't forget to like and subscribe and share this video with your friends. And stay tuned for the next video with AP. Thanks.